Hi there, don't forget to subscribe and like. Hi there, Lana here. And I want to tell you a story about uh, <laughs> years ago when my kids were little, I used to live outside of New York City and I used to help a friend of mine who was in the music industry and she used to do contracting for the music industry. And one day um, as I was helping her, I had to be at Carnegie Hall and it was uh, jazz, they were doing jazz music at Carnegie Hall and I remember being there backstage listening to the jazz and thinking, and don't, don't hate me for this, but thinking, God, I hate jazz. And um, I, I've thought about that often, and I recognize that we all have preferences. Like, some people like metal, some people like pop, some people like rock, some people like jazz. That's wonderful. We all have our preferences. But it, I was really curious about, what is it about jazz that I don't like? And uh, I realized, you know, after becoming a life coach and, and learning some of the tools and learning some of the uh, sort of how the mind works, what was really going on, the reason that I didn't like jazz was because I could not predict where the music was going. It was songs, you know, traditional songs, we kind of have this melody and it repeats and I could rely on that. There was sort of a sense of certainty in that. Like, oh yeah, I know how this is gonna go. And then there's the bridge. Okay, I'll, I'll take that bridge, but then it goes back to the tune. Like I can predict how it's gonna go. And with jazz, it was like all over the place and I could not predict it. So it was driving me nuts because I didn't have this sense of control over it. And the reason I tell you that story is because how many times do we crave a sense of control over our lives, over other people, over ourselves, and we drive ourselves nuts when we can't seem to get that control. I think in our attempts to control certainly other people, the only reason we try to do that is because then we will feel a sense of safety, a sense of security, a sense of well-being. But that's all based on a falsehood because we're already fine. We are already sitting in well-being. That is our innate nature. The only thing that disrupts that, takes us away from that, is our thinking. Because when we think somebody has to be a certain way, has to act a certain way, we remove ourselves from being okay with what is, how people are. And we move into this feeling of, it's not okay the way they are. They have to change in order for me to be okay. Now that, that is a losing battle because you will never control other people. You can barely, if at all, control yourself. The most you can do is be aware of how the mechanism of the mind works. And the way it works is all of our experience comes to us through our thinking and our feeling. That's what we're experiencing moment to moment. And it's always changing, it's always moving. When we don't fixate on something, when we don't say, oh, this is wrong, or this is not how this should be, or this song, <laughs> this piece of jazz needs to have some predictability to it, instead of just enjoying the journey, enjoying where it's moving, and being able to appreciate it for how it is. When we give up the ruse of control, suddenly we fall into our well-being. We're no longer resisting how things are or how other people are or how that piece of music is. And we can suddenly just sit in the okayness of it all, that it's all okay. And ultimately, what that allows is for us to be in a, in a place of peace where we're not fighting what's going on. We're not fighting what is. And therefore, we're not suffering because that suffering is always originating from 
our minds and how we think things should be, how we need to control how everything is out there. That, my friends, is a road to never-ending strife and um, it's exhausting. So have your preferences. I still, I still don't really like jazz, but at this point, I'm not resisting it. I'm not making it wrong or trying to put it in a box so that I can understand it. I can just be with it and be okay with it now. See how this resonates in your own life and how you show up and how you want others to show up and where perhaps you've got a little bit of uh, control going on there. That's an illusion. Okay, talk to you later. Bye. Hi there, don't forget to subscribe and like.